some would argue this is the deepest division in the UFC right now. 145 pounds, a lot of killers at the top. This man has emerged out of the pack and gets his much-deserved title shot here tonight. From the moment he got to the UFC, he told us we were viewing someone that could make an impact, a future champion that will remind us of the great featherweight champ Max Holloway, Jose Aldo Jr. He said, I am special. I will be a champion one day tonight. He gets the opportunity. Let's see if he can cash in. Now, it appeared as though the weight cut was a little bit difficult. He did not want to hear that noise, but that is behind him. And we'll see how it goes for him here on Saturday night. Featherweight division is a hard one to hold down consistently, but this man has done it. He's the undisputed champion, and his latest title defense comes here tonight. He seems to be getting better. You, you think that when a guy becomes a champion, he may rest on his laurels. He may start to take a look at his work and smile. Right. Not this guy. This guy is doing more now. He seems more motivated to continue to build on the legacy that he's already created. He's a great champion, and tonight he intends to keep that belt. And he's never sitting on a lead, he's never playing with his food, he's always focused, and now the champion has his sights set on this very worthy challenger here tonight. Our tale of the day for this featherweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Ilya El Matador And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75. The UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets is rapid about mixed martial arts. As well. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters with dreams of headlining this arena. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. He's got that single power tie locked in. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Ilya Topuria. Big inside kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that it allows him to... Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Great defense by the defensive fighter. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting. Because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like strike. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. 
Tarpoli is right back to the full mount here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, good armbar attempt here. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. 190 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, he's got the Kamora locked in. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Big ground and pound. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Massive shot from the top. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. That's a pretty slick reversal right there. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you on the inside. He's hurt now. He turned his entire body into the oh, oh, Saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready. Go Second on. round here. Ooh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Oh, there go. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, some separation. Oh, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Trying to set up a choke here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he was all oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Nice transition. Oh, he got to the spot. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut. Right all right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. Yes. Oh. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he's crazy. He's got to be careful here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Topuria's in half guard now. 
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the books. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn, two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's gonna be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot. But one perfect shot shuts the lights off. It's only gonna take one of those to finish the fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Look at that finish there. High front shot. Knee kick the back ankle by reaching all the way across. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Topuria. He passes to half guard. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or kick round and round. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Now he's going full mount. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Another big kick out. He passed the half guard. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. And now he's inside the chest. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Another strike gets through. Let's this go. could be over soon. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just hold on and let everything fly. Oh. oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Huh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Ready. Ready. Go ahead. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Two strike lands there, DC. He landed that.
that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Elia El Matador Well, he wasn't much for words during fight week. He just kept saying, and still, and that's exactly how it goes down tonight. Congratulations to the UFC featherweight champion of the world. Starting to close that gap on the all-time greats, too, with this result. He is one of the greatest featherweight champions we have ever seen.